I'm having to film this in a, not the most uh, perfect uh, environment. So I have the Zippo lighter and two butane lighters and I'm keeping them cold while I do the test. So I'm going to start with the Zippo first. Wrap this guy back up. Okay. This Zippo has been in here I think 24 hours and I did take it out this morning and try it off camera um, and it did light so this this has been tested 12 hours ago and you see the ice crystals so it's cold okay oh the flint ho 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 I like that was that like the third strike there's still ice crystals on it okay Zippo is definitely uh, definitely a cold weather lighter there's no question about that and I also think this might be a high altitude lighter too This might light at high altitude is very easily too so uh, someday I hope to be able to test that okay so obviously a cold weather lighter um, and the fuel in this is I would say I filled it and used it a little bit so it's it's fairly full now I prefer the electronic BIC lighters um, and these are kind of the substitute for that I don't really like these lighters because I'm kind of a big fan when it comes to butane lighters but there's a specific BIC electronic lighter that's hard to find okay obviously I'm holding it with my hands so that's warming it up does it fuel all the yeah. Okay, this is a Ronson, which is actually owned by Zippo now. Um, but this lighter uh, was manufactured before Zippo took it over. From what I understand, though, um, Zippo lets Ronson manufacture their stuff just like they have have already. So, okay, so this is an electronic ignition lighter and it's a butane lighter and obviously the only reason it's lighting is because my hands are warming it up so if you were actually out in the cold um, this would not light very well because your hands would be cold as well see I like the Bix better um, and of course I've done videos on the the mini electronic BIC uh, the full-size electronic BIC is very hard to find okay so it's warmed up my hands warm and it's warmed up okay so this is a competitor to the electronic BIC uh, but I, like I said I prefer the electronic BIC other than this I don't prefer this brand okay so there's one Now this is also an off-brand of the BIC electronic lighter. This one matches it even closer than the Ronson. This was a dollar at CVS. Of course I'm warming this one up too. So this one is very close replication of the electronic uh, BIC. and this does glow in the dark not very much it's not a very good glow in the dark case but it does glow okay so this one's actually this one heated up a little bit quicker than the Ronson um, this does not have an adjustable oh it does have an adjustable flame excuse me it does so 
It's all the way up. So this one lit faster, um, but once again, it's not a BIC. It's not an electronic BIC. And this one's refillable. I don't know how good it is. I don't, I don't think I'll refill these. They're so cheap anyway. So the Ronson, I don't know, doesn't seem like the Ronson's real great. This one actually lit up a little quicker. It's still cold, I can feel it. Hmm. Okay, so they're warmed up. Okay, one more time on the Zippo. Um, eventually I'll make a conclusion on lighters and, and all the ones I've tested and what ones that I like the best, but uh, Zippo definitely did well because this one was actually in the freezer for 24 hours. The other two were only in the freezer for maybe 12 hours. So the Zippo definitely passed this test. Okay. And once again, thanks for watching.